Shalom to everyone who has come to this video. Everything that the Most High does is done through spirits, whether they be what we call evil or what we call holy or angelic spirits. Even when you pray, there are angels who are responsible for presenting that prayer before Christ and his father. See my video called what angels do when you pray for more details on that. So we're going to check out this short video called mysterious man touches the shoulder of another man, saves his life and disappears. And you can find this video on YouTube and I'm going to make my comment. So pay attention to this man on the left who is the shopkeeper. This event reportedly took place in Adana, Turkey. You see the shopkeeper on the left. The other man is strolling down the street quite nonchalantly. Now watch this. He tapped him on the shoulder. Look at that, a huge gate swung by right after. And the man's confused. Now let's watch it one more time. And notice that after he taps him on the shoulder, he turned and looked in the opposite direction, which the mystery man here seemed to anticipate. And I do the same thing when someone taps me on the shoulder because growing up, we would often play jokes on one another where we would tap each other on the opposite shoulder from the side that we were actually standing on as a trick. So the shopkeeper's doing some work. This man strolling nonchalantly. He taps him on the shoulder and he looks behind him the other direction and is immediately saved from getting hit by that gate. Now, this man was interviewed after this, and he said that when the person tapped him on the shoulder, he heard someone say, look behind you. And he said that he thinks that he would not have lived if the gate door would have hit him. Now, being that he was there in person, he would know better than us how heavy this gate seemed to be. And it does appear like it has some weight to it. Apparently, this was the tailgate of a truck that was flying open as the truck turned. And if the person was driving when the gate flew open, then the locomotion would significantly increase kinetic energy and power behind the gate when it hit this man. So it's very possible that he would have died or been seriously injured. Now, as it says in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 2, it says to not be forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. And what the verse is saying is that you should show hospitality to strangers. To treat strangers properly. And in some cases, you could be dealing with an angel unbeknownst to you. And there are examples of angels being in the form of men, such as in Genesis chapter 19. And the angels even ate food, according to Genesis chapter 19, verse 3. Lot made them some bread and they ate it. Spirits are very active in this world and in the lives of human beings, whether they be evil or holy spirits. The spiritual world is actually more real than the physical world. It's just that as humans, we are for the most part carnal and therefore largely unaware of what's happening in the spiritual realm, or you could say spiritual dimension. And so for whatever reason, the Most High wanted this man to have this experience and he wanted us who have eyes to see to witness this. Now, for those who don't have eyes to see, 
this will just be a coincidence or they'll find some other way to brush it off. I saw somebody say that he was a time traveler and he came back in time and saved himself. So they'll find some other explanation. And I also just want to point out the fact that angels are always in male form, not female. This includes the Holy Spirit, which is referred to as he multiple times in the scriptures, such as in John chapter 14, verse 26 and John chapter 16, verse 13, where the Holy Spirit is called a he, which is the Greek word echinos which is in the nominative masculine singular form. So it's only ever used in the Bible to refer to males when referring to people. The father, the son, and the angels are always referred to in the masculine. And we know that man was created in the image of the most high. And we know that 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 9 says that the woman was created for the man. And it says in Genesis 2.18 that she was created to be a suitable helper for him, which is what help meet means. So whether you're talking about their spiritual form, such as Michael or Gabriel or Raphael, all of the angels are masculine. And again, they're also masculine when they manifest in human form. The Most High is not the author of confusion and is not into cross-dressing. So an angel would not manifest as a woman. Now, demons do often appear in female form, but that's because they're attempting to deceive you, which is why you often hear people talk about seeing female ghosts dressed in white dresses and things like that. But let's look at it one more time. So the shopkeeper had no idea who this man was and never saw him again, according to his interview. He just appeared, hit, tapped the man on the shoulder and then disappeared. Amazing and all praise to the most high.